Hello and welcome. In today's class, we look at the desirium number question. This question appeared in ISC Computer Science 2016 theory paper. So according to the question, a desirium number is a number in which the sum of the digits to the power of their respective position is equal to the number itself. Let's try to understand this with an example. Consider the number 135. So 1 is the first digit here. So we take it as position 1. That 1 is in position 1. 3 is the second digit. So it will have position 2. And 5 is the third digit. So its position will be 3. Now 1 to the power 1. That means 1 to the power its position. Plus 3 to the power its position which is 2 plus 5 to the power 3. Here 3 is the position of 5. So 1 to the power 1 is 1. 3 to the power 2 is 9. 5 to the power 3 is 125. So when you add all of these values, you get 135, the original number. So 135 is a desirium number. So we have to design a class desirium to check if a given number is a desirium number or not. And these are the members of the class. Class name desirium. Num and size, these are the data members. Num to store the number, whereas size to store the size of the number, length of the number, whether it's a three digit or a four digit number. Then we have a parameterized constructor to initialize the data members. We have count digit that will count the total number of digits in the given number. And we have a function sum of digits. This is a recursive function. It will find the sum of the digits to the power of their respective position. And then we have a check function that will check whether the given number is desirium number or not. We also need to create the main function to create an object and call the functions accordingly to enable the task. So that's the question. Let's start writing the program for this question. So here I have created a file desarium.java. Let's start with the import statement. Let's create the class desarium. Then declare the data members. Then we create the parameterized constructor. And we initialize num as the parameter and size will be initially set to zero. Then we will create a function void count digit. So we will write size equals string dot value of num dot length. So you can see how in just one line we can calculate the number of digits for a given number using string dot value of so string dot value of is converting this number into a string and then we are calling the length function to find the total number of digits for that particular string. Next, we create the recursive function int sum of digits n and So we will first of all write the code for the base case. So if n is less than 10, that means it's a single digit number. In that case, we simply return n because that will be n to the power 1 because that one digit number will have position 1. And so n to the power 1 means n. Otherwise, we find out the term as int of mat.pow 
and modulus 10 will give you the rightmost digit comma the power or the position and after calculating the term we write return term plus sum of digits n by 10 means we are now working with the remaining number remaining number of digits and position will decrease by 1 because we are starting from the right end of the number so the position will keep decreasing each time so p minus 1 and finally the check function so it will check if the original number num is equal to the sum of digits of the number with size if both the original number and the result of sum of digits are same then we can say that the number is a desarium number else we print not a desarian number and now we can create the main function and in the main function we will firstly create scanner object because we have to input the number from the user so we give a message enter the number and we take it in a variable n int n equals integer dot percent in dot next line once we have the number we can now create an object of the desarium class so desarium obj equals new desarium and we pass the number n so that the parameterized constructor can execute and then through the object we call the count digit function so that the number of digits is calculated and then we call the check function which in turn calls the sum of digits function to check if the original number and the calculation both result in the same value then it's a desarium number otherwise not so our program is complete let's check the output so java desarium so enter the number let's say 135 yes it's a desarium number and if I write 153, then it is not a desarium number. So I hope you have understood how to solve the desarium number question. If you still have questions, you can get in touch with me through comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class.